today I want to talk about the new bike which is my GT Avalanche bike now this bike is being sold at Dick's Sporting Goods um, I, the first time I actually saw it was I think in February um, of 2019 and I think there's only a couple of videos out there right now that actually um, talk about it on YouTube so I just want to do a quick overview of it um, it's not an in-depth review but just want to talk a little bit about the bike and um, how I acquired it which was if you remember in my last video I did a GT Aggressor Pro upgrades video I got a lot of views on that video a lot of comments and questions um, I had two Aggressor Pros and one I bought in store and one I bought off a guy who was just trying to sell it for the low and so I got a really good deal on it that I couldn't pass up. Um, the one that I bought in store uh, I had not ridden it yet and so um, about maybe two weeks ago I think it was Dick Sporting Goods had a big sale on the GT Aggressor Pros and the GT Avalanche. The Aggressor Pros were going for 300 and the Avalanches were going for 500 and so I called my local store, talked to the manager, I asked him could I exchange or return my Aggressor Pro um, and then just upgrade to the GT uh, Avalanche and pay the difference in price and he was okay with that. So with that being said, that's what I did. And so um, there's a reason why I did that. One, because I had two Aggressor Pros and didn't need both of them. And so um, this bike is a little bit of an upgrade, but again, like I always say, I will only buy these bikes if they are at a particular price. And I will keep saying that. I would not buy either one of these bikes more than what I paid for them. Um, the GT Aggressor Pro, Dick Sporting Goods will drop them as low as $300. I've never seen them get lower than that in store. Um, Memorial Day is getting ready to come up, and if you're watching this video, they're going to drop it down to $350 which is not as low as I've seen it, but it will go down to 350 for Memorial Day. But 4th of July, they usually have a big bike sale as well. And so you might be able to get it for 300 around that time. If not, they will do another $300 GT Aggressor Pro bike sale sometime this year. So keep an eye out for that. Um, the GT Avalanche, when I first saw this bike, and I'm gonna show it to you in a sec, um, they were selling this bike for 800. I think it was around the end of January, early February. Then they started reducing it to 700. So right now, if you go online, I think the GT Avalanche is going for um, $700. They dropped it down on sale for $500. And I was like, for the upgrades that are on it, yeah, it was probably worth the $200 um, upgrade in price that I paid when I traded in the, uh, well, not traded it in, but uh, returned the Aggressor Pro. And so I already had some Dick Sporting Good credit, and it just worked out. I didn't have to come out of pocket with anything because I had the store credit plus the return. So anyway, enough about all of that. Let's get into the bike. I'm actually going to move it into the sunlight for you guys. Um, nothing better than the natural lighting itself. So I will go into details with that. And with that being said, this is it. Now you can already tell that I've actually done some upgrades to the bike, which I always do. Normally when I get a bike, um, I normally pretty much do the pedals, um, the actual handlebar in the seat, um, mud guards, um, and stem, and what else, the water cage, the, the basic essentials I, I do off tops. Mostly for appearance, just because I want my bike to be a little bit different than everyone else's. This bike was pretty much all black with a little bit of gray and silver mixed in. And so I had to throw in some type of color. So my color scheme is red, black, and green. Um, and I've upgraded the tires too. I'm sorry, I usually upgrade the tires off tops. So this is a 29er. And you can see pretty much from the start that um, I've already you know, done some major upgrades to it. Um, just a little bit of information if you're, if you're wanting to know about specifics of the bike. Um, this is a 27 speed. Uh, this is the Shimano Altus, which is an upgrade from the Tourney. Um, I think it's like one step up, so it's not a big upgrade when it comes to the actual uh, gears, but it is a little bit. Um, it has the Altera. Um, seat post and seat which I took off uh, the wheel size is 29 
These come in a frame size of 15, 17, 19, and 21. This is the 19 inch size large. Um, but these are hydraulic brakes that are on this particular bike. And you can see those right here. These particular ones take mineral oil. It actually says that on the actual shifter lever. And I also upgraded the grips as well, which I'll talk about in just a sec. Um, so yeah, so the upgrades off tops, if you, if you want to know what upgrades are ju that justify the actual price compared to the GT Aggressor Pro would be, first off the tires, we're looking at um, 29ers instead of the 27 and a half. Um, you're looking at hydraulic brakes instead of the mechanical brakes. You're looking at the Altus Shimano um, gear system instead of the turning. And I'm trying to think what else. That's pretty much it when it comes to upgrades on this bike. Um, everything else, um, pretty much the same. Um, but does that justify a $200 price increase? Well, yeah, kind of. Um, just because of the simple fact that if I were to buy these parts separately, I probably would have spent about that much or maybe a little bit more. So I think it was justifiable to do the upgrade. Plus, I didn't want two of the same bikes. So now, the upgrades that I've done off tops. These are the ODI Dread Locks. Um, yes, they are called Dread Locks grips. So, so comfortable. They actually have the finger indentures in there as well. They're so soft. Very, very comfortable. Um, it does take one screw on the inside of the handlebar. They fit perfectly. As you notice, I got the Race Face Turbine R. This is an alloy 35 uh, handlebar along with the Turbine R um, 35 stem by Race Face as well to go along with it. Um, I put on the what we call the Zion water cage, which kind of gives it a cool look, the red, gold, and green. Got the race face green Chester pedals. Um, I also included the kickstand, which comes in handy and I've never had a problem with when riding on trails. I have the race face chain guard on the back, size extra large. I have the um, mud guard in the front. And I also have added um, some lights, which I'll kind of go into later for the um, front and back, the night riding, and the seat. Now, I'll talk a little bit about this particular seat. It's called the EC90. When I first started um, looking at this seat, I didn't know much about it. But actually, after I started to do some research on this seat, it's supposed to be kind of a replica of a specialized seat that cost about 160. I paid 30 bucks for this seat. It's small, but it's super comfortable. Um, none of the GT seats I think are comfortable. Um, so this one is more aero, aerodynamic. It's it's it just fits my butt better. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed it so far. I, I usually put covers or pads or, or memory foam on my seats, but this one, I don't even have to do that. It, it feels that good. And I'll put a link to all of these items down below um, in the description. And as you can see, I upgraded to the Max's tires. Now this bike has WTB rims, and I thought the actual tires were WTB as well, but I was wrong. And once I found out they were some generic tires, no name brand tires, I immediately had to get rid of them. My friend Corey in South Florida bought this same bike. He went out on the trail with the, the stock tires and nearly fell and slipped. And so I said, yeah, I'm not going through that. That happened to me on the stock GT Aggressor Pro tires. And so because of that, I decided that, um, that I'm not gonna do it. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention, the fork is uh, upgraded on this bike as well. This has a 100 millimeter fork compared to the GT, GT Aggressor Pro only having an 80 millimeter. Now the tires, back to those. Um, on the front, 
I went with the Maxxis Minion DHF tires. These are 29 by 2.30. Max Terra EXO protection tubeless ready tires and these are 60 psi and in the back I stuck with the aggressors um, like I have them on my other aggressor pro and the other video that I mentioned these are the aggressors 29 by 2.30 60 psi EXO protection they are tubeless ready as well so I did go Mitch Max tires um, and this, there's other people who have this same setup on their bikes that you'll see on YouTube. Uh, I just think that it's, it's better to have the aggressor in the, in the back. And I, I just wanted to try the DHF in the front. Um, if it gives me problems, you know, I'll go to plan B. But right now, I think it's, it's pretty much fine as is. And so that's about it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick overview of it because it's not that many videos of this bike on YouTube um, one of my f subscribers and I subscribed to him as well shout out to Brian he did a quick video of um, of this bike and he was going to do another video when he does his upgrades so I'm looking forward to that but until then this is my setup man really really good bike um, what it reminds me of and if you've been following me from the beginning I used to have a lot of mountain bikes but I sold some of them and so one of the bikes I had, which I never did a review, which I'm mad at myself about, um, is the Cannondale Catalyst 3. And this one reminds me a lot of that bike. It's a bike that I feel like can be aggressive when you want it to be, or if you just want to take it on the nice ride, um, it can be that as well. So um, it can be pretty much that in-between bike. So for example, I have this one now, the GT Aggressor Pro and the Nashiki Colorado, and I would definitely put both of these bikes, um, I would put this bike in between both of them. And what I mean by that is, is that um, it's, it's kind of like that mid-level bike between those two. And so um, I think you can't go wrong with, with that kind of bike. So other than that, man, I'm not going to make this video longer than it needs to be. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked the bike. And again, keep checking Dick's Sporting Goods for their sales, man. I definitely think this was worth $500. I would not pay $800. I wouldn't pay $7. I wouldn't pay more than $5, actually. That, that would be the max of what I would uh, purchase this bike for. But for the upgrades on the fork, upgrades on the tire size, upgrades on the actual hydraulic brakes, you got upgrades on the gear system, you got upgrades on the seat posts. Um, yeah, I think it's overall a $200 um, in value that uh, for the return that I made to go up um, to get this bike. So I don't have any regrets at all. The only thing I will complain about, it is a little bit heavier than the Aggressor Pro. So it does have a little bit more weight to it, not much. And most of that weight is in the front, right underneath the stem. Um, it, it's just a heavier portion. It, it's, just, it's just a little bit heavier right there in the front. Other than that, though, it's, it's definitely a really good bike. So I'm going to take it on the trail tomorrow. I'll do a second review on it. Um, actual performance review coming up um, on my next video. So I'm also going to do a video on my upgrades to my Nashiki Colorado. I've done some of those as well. And I also have a Nashiki Colorado in my hometown of North Carolina. Uh, I'm going to do a full upgrade to that one once I go back to the Carolinas, probably in a few months. So keep a lookout for that one as well. Anyway, hope everyone's doing well. Comment. If you have any questions or comments, just put them down below. And I'll do the research for you. Try to answer as many questions as I can. I usually reply to everyone who replies or comments to me. So make a comment if you have it. Please like the video and please subscribe. I'm going to try to have a lot more videos for you guys. I plan on heading a lot more trails this summer here in Florida. And so I just look forward to uh, the future of this channel. So I appreciate everyone and I will see you on the next video. Peace.